Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fireside Terra. Hope everyone is well. It's been a long morning. <laughs> but I'm going to knock at least one reading out before i got to get ready for the bread and butter job. Lots going on. My son's school went back to virtual for the next three weeks, so he's home. And the domestic partner is here, so I'm taking an opportunity to just kind of be by myself for a little bit and get this done. Who's next for November? Pisces. I'll stop babbling now and start throwing down some cards. This reading will be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. If it doesn't resonate, I encourage you to leave the cards on the table and walk away. Don't take with you what does not belong to you, but do keep in mind time and energy are both fluid, and all things can and maybe vice versa. So, the events could have played, over the, played out over the last couple of weeks. They might be playing out right now. They could play out over the next couple of weeks. They may play out from the perspective of the other person in the situation. But if you want something that might resonate a little bit better, you can check your moon rising or Venus sign readings. Please feel free to do that. Also, if you think you might want a little bit more of a personal reading rather than a general one, I'm available for that as well. The details on that are in the about section of the channel. And I think they're still in the description box below. I don't know. I haven't touched anything, and I don't know if Emma has gotten into touch with anything or not. So, all right. Let's cut to the chase. Pisces, why are you here? Page of Swords. Either you're re you you want to talk to somebody, or somebody wants to talk to you. It's communication. Hmm. Okay. Could be an air sign person. They feel what the person you're dealing with. Page of Cups. Well, two pages on the board. Hmm. I think you're the one who wants to talk. I think you hold a cup for someone. I think you might want to tell somebody how you feel. Okay. You might be a little bit hesitant about saying something. What do you think of the person? Temperance card comes out. Oh, okay. Could be a Sagittarius. You get along well. There's positive energy flow between you, at least from your side of things. You could be having patience with this connection. Very good. What do you want from them? Oh, Seven of Pentacles reversed. Well, hmm. First impressions. I just got to learn to say the first thing that pops into my head. So I'm just going to say the first thing popping into my head. They might not be so patient, and you want them to be patient with you. First thing popping into my head when I see that. We'll throw a clarifier on in a second. How do they feel about you? King of Cups reversed. Hmm. Feelings might not be mutual. Hmm. What do they think of you? Death card. Oh. Something is changing. Something is evolving. Could be for the better. It's progressive. There's a metamorphosis in this connection. What do they want from you? The star. Ah. Healing. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay. I'm going to stop here. Clarify real quick before I throw the rest of the cards down. Universe, Source, and Spirit. Can I get some clarity on the cards and the table for my Pisces friends, please, for November of 2020? King of Cups up. <laughs> Feelings definitely are not mutual by the looks of things. You want to say something, you want to express it. Hmm. Deep emotions for this person why you're here. Okay, I get the Page of Cups. When I get the King of Cups reversed, I don't think I'm going to address those two. I might, but at this point I don't think I'm going to. I would like to address this Temperance card, though. Why is Temperance here? The Star. Ah. Another card of energy flow. Oh, wow. Positive energy, healing energy. There's so much positive healing energy here. Why is the Seven of Pentacles reversed down here? On with it, Pisces. Another page. Tell me how you feel. I'm not taking 20 cards. But the Five of Swords did show itself in the reverse. So let's see if it comes back out reversed. Death reverse decide. Er, Ten of Swords reverse decide to come out. Hesitation. This perverse and provides a healing energy, but there's something that hasn't closed out yet. You want them to be patient. I mean, <laughs> The page of wands has this go, go, go energy about it, but there's hesitation here. Something that hasn't closed out. Something very painful. I don't know if it's on your side or theirs, but the situation's calling for patience. And patience indeed. Perhaps you're the one that's a little bit impatient, Pisces. Why is the King of Cups reversed here? Now I'm really curious. Obviously, Pisces, you got something to say. 
Could have something to do with this King of Cups reversed. Why you're not? That's King of Cups. Thank you, Ace of Wands. Nine of Swords reversed. The Ace of Wands is about beginning and embarking on new and exciting adventures. It's about passion. It's about speed. It's about let's do this. I don't think much thought was put into this connection with this Nine of Swords reverse, though. I don't think a lot of planning ahead. One more on this King of Cups reversed. That's why. That's why. Could be a fire sign you're dealing with. Someone might not be ready to commit. It's not that they are negate of all emotion toward the situation. They're not ready to commit to it. They're not ready to have that cup filled. They might be afraid of what's in the cup. Obviously, you have a cup. There's a lot of cups over here. There's the healing cups in the star card. One in the land, one in the water. There's the cups flowing into each other in the temperance card. Why is death here for what the other person thinks of Pisces? Knight of Cups reversed. Another oh, upside down cup. One more. Queen of Pentacles reverse. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Clinginess, neediness. One more. Remember what I was saying a couple of minutes ago about an evolution and in, in the connection, not necessarily for the good. And... Go to the connection, maybe. Go to the people, always. Death card is not bad. It's just change. Speaking of change, the tower and the eight of pentacles reversed. Unfortunately, Pisces, this person's not wanting to put energy into this. The tower may soon fall. Wow. Okay. Why is the star card here? Well, that's beautiful. That's gracious. That's stoic. And confusing at the same time. It might not be time yet. World reversed. 
Ten of Pentacles upright, world reversed on top of the star. It might not be time yet. There's hesitation over here on your side. They sense that. What's the obstacle? It wants things happening too quickly, too quickly. This happened too fast. Possible resolution, nine of swords. Think this through. Think it through. There was not a lot of thought put into this. Remember what I said a couple minutes ago? There wasn't a lot of thought. This happened fast, like lightning fast. Pisces, you need to slow down. You need to slow down. Leave the outcome card right there. Clarify these two, though I don't think I need to. Why is it a wand here? Just one card. Just one card. Just one card on the eight of wands. One card. One card. You want to talk? Ten of cups. The obstacle is happiness. Chasing rainbows. Sometimes we get ourselves in races to fill those cups. We're chasing rainbows. We're chasing fairy tale. We don't think things through. We do things too quickly. Because we want those full cups so bad. And in the process, we kick over our cups. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Chariot reversed. That is a slowdown and think about it. How do you resolve this? Stop the truck. <laughs> Pull over. <laughs> Pull over. Stop the truck for a minute. Think this through. There's hesitation here, and they sense it, both on the same page, so that's a good thing. All right, what, what's the outcome? Ace of Swords. Just starting over. What's that communication? Honest communication. Can I get one card? One card on the Ace of Swords, please. Six of Pentacles. At this point, somebody can't give what you need. You stop, pull the truck over, take a walk, do whatever you need to do, process it, work through it, Take time, get yourself in a situation where you can have honest conversations, and things can be fair and equal. I like it. Pisces, I like it. I don't even think I need to give you advice. No, I'm not going to. I think we're going to leave it at that. I don't want to ruin it. But let me know what's going on. I, I certainly would like to know. This is totally relatable. I don't even think I'd drop a Pisces in my chart. I don't know. I'd have to look. <laughs> but thanks for coming by. I appreciate you. I love you guys. And I will catch you guys sometime. Well, obviously, for the top and bottom on Friday. But sometime before 
the end of the day next Thursday for your December reads. Okay? Love ya. Be blessed. Catch you later.